uh, basic design and we're going to build from here. So let's go. What we need to do is we need to start. I'm pressing F here to zoom in and I one finger click to rotate this and that goes to 57. So I'm going to change that to 90 and we want to make this very precise. So if we don't, it's not going to be perfectly aligned and you might have something that ends up being a little bit crooked, which we definitely don't want. So if it ends up being like this, that's no good. Okay. And it can end up being a little bit off. So we definitely don't want to have that. So I'm going to look for this rotation and that's right here. So I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up a little bit and then you can actually see down here, this is changing. We want to set that to zero. <clears throat> So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to move this down and then I'm going to line these two things up here and the easiest way to do that is I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to create everything into a hole so I can see that. Snap grid, I'm going to change to 0.1 millimeters <clears throat> and the reason I do that is so I can be very precise with my, my measurements here. So I'm going to click here. Oops. And I'm just going to move this over. Oh, take it way too long. So I'm going to freehand move it to about here. Move it over. I need to move it up a little bit. That looks like it might be about right. Nope. Up a little higher. There we go. And that's looking pretty close. I want to get this right on here, and then I'm going to move this over, and I think that's pretty good. All right, so now all I have left to do is move this. So if I move like this, I can see two arrows here, one pointing here one pointing here. So I've just moved this, so I'm going to put this back to zero. Oh, I'm going to put this one to zero, and then I'm only going to move this one. So I'll move it by three. Nope, negative three. Maybe negative four. Negative five. Maybe negative eight. Nope, negative seven. So now if I go in, that is right connected here. So that's something that I want. That's really nice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to press Command D. And now there's a duplicate of this. And I'm going to move it along here. So I just press Command Z there. I'm going to move it along here. And I'm going to move it all the way across to here. And I'm going to make sure this, the arrow going this, this way and that way, is at zero. And I'm going to make sure that this is right around here. So that's going to be 72.5, but this has to be zero because I want them perfectly lined up. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the mirror tool. And I'm going to flip this around this way. And pretty good. Pretty connected there. So you can push it closer, um, but this should be pretty good. Okay, so now we have two wheels that are right here, and the axle is going to go right through. So these are your two front wheels. Okay, you got to make sure that you have the front wheels and the back wheels. So I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Command D, and I'm just going to move this back. And this arrow here, I want to make sure that that's zero, because these axles need to be lined up perfectly. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the front wheel. So I'm going to pull this up until this is at zero, because we want that up. And then I'm going to move this around. And we want to keep this at zero, if we remember. So the axle stays the same width from the front. And we're going to move the tire a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't quite line up. So 
the back tire is a little bit bigger than the front tire. So we're going to move it around a little bit until it kind of lines up here. And then I'm going to move this up and then back. So now I'm going to just gonna move it over until it looks like it fits right in perfectly. There we go. And I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. And that looks like it's about perfect. Almost. So I can see the other circle there. I'm just going to line these up perfectly. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to do the same process here. Command D. I'm going to move this over to about here. And then again, this should be zero, so the tires are lined up perfectly. I'm going to rotate it, or sorry, I'm going to flip it along this axis. If I flip it here, that flips it vertically. And if I flip it here, that flips it um, horizontally that way, but I want to hit flip it horizontally this way. And then I'm just going to move it in until it looks pretty secure in here. And again, this needs to be at zero, so the wheels are perfectly lined up, and that's at minus 10. So that looks pretty good. Now I have all the wheels attached to each other. And now it's time to put this guy up here. So this is the important one. Now that we have the wheels, this one, and again, once you have the wheels, I would actually just group them all together. You can either click the, this button or press uh, Command G and that groups them. So now if I move the wheels at all, they're going to be moving front and back. And again, this one, you don't want to go either way. You want to keep that at zero and you just want to move it frontward and backward. So that's going to be the length of your car here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put this in the middle. Bodo. And that just shot way over there. So this, and then you can calculate based on the width from here to here, you can calculate where this needs to go. All right, so, and then this is cool, except for one major flaw, these are the back wheels. So let's flip this around by 180 degrees, and then let's move this back. So this one we're gonna keep at zero because we're gonna pretend that that's right in the middle. And this one, that looks pretty good, maybe about 45. All right, and then the height really matters here. So it, this needs to be exactly 40. And that's gonna make sure this is 40 from the ground. So the wheels are gonna be here, that's gonna go up to 40, and then this needs to puncture right into the back of here. So if this isn't exactly 40, um, the nail's not going to be able to puncture the CO2 cartridge and your car will not go anywhere. So that is why we made everything else so precise. Then I'm going to design my car around the size here. Remember how I said it couldn't be wider than four, I believe. Uh, we can check the dimensions after. And I'm going to make it high enough so it fits in here. And move this over a little bit. Um, so there's the block, and I'm going to move this. Oh, I'm going to move this up, so it fits, because I want it raised off the ground, obviously. Um, and I do want it to make sure. See, the front axle is lower than the back axle, so I'm going to raise it up, so there's still enough space between the front axle and the bottom you don't want it to be too close to the bottom or else it's not gonna the hole's gonna be too thin and it won't be strong enough so there we go and there is my wonderful car and you can see actually if you look this way this isn't quite lined up so um, you can just do that by measuring this measuring the width from here to here and then finding the midpoint which is probably right around here somewhere so 
instead of going into that in detail, I'm just going to go like this. So here you go. Now we have the entire car ready to go. So now what I do is I press Command A, which highlights everything. These have already are already ready to make holes, and then I literally just click Combine, which is Command G, our group, sorry, and boom, I have made the holes exactly where I need them to go for my car. Then all I'm going to do, the very last thing, is I'm just going to move this down to zero. And I have the entire shape of my car that has all of the holes that I need exactly where I need them for the car. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to export to STL.